Well, hey, blog hoppers. Um, this is Trisha here, and I'm excited to show you the club stamp cards I just finished up. And um, at the end, I'm going to show you a technique that maybe you don't know. So let's just review these cards very quickly. I made 14 cards out of the 12 sheets of 8.5 by 11 paper and goodies and stamps included in the club stamp kit. Um, and so I started out with this uh, foliage elements that we have. It's actual pressed leaves that I just use our book binding glue to attach them to this card panel. I did the same thing on this other card with that cedar leaf. I love this. And then used a little bit of a yellow ribbon down there. And then here we have a pair of cards that are pretty much the same using that larger Yellowstone um, background image. And then I just inked it with a bunch of different colors of ink and I feel that it really made a nice background and used this softer middle area to stamp the quote into the foreground plus some little foliage and some jute fiber. Same thing here. And then um, the craft 8.5 by 11 print, just as it is, makes a wonderful backdrop for some a few stamped images. Those of you who were part of an event I think it was in 2012 called Wow Holiday. We included a spruce colored ink pad and that's what I used to stamp this vacation next exit sign. But really any green ink pad will work just fine. Once again, same on this card with those, um, that craft printed background just finishes it off for me without having to do anything. Um, oh, and one of my favorite images from the collection plate is this car and camper pairing. So I just stamped it on white and then cut it all out and mounted it on there with some foam adhesive for a nice uh, dimensional touch. And then I took that uh, four up text suede print with you know, four different images and uh, pieced it out to make a set of four different cards. So two of the cards have the intense image on that on a, on a foam mounted white panel. So that's this one and this one. And I just interchanged the different art panels that I had trimmed to fit the quote. And then the other one goes horizontal with the go take a height image stamped on the back of this printed paper. So that's where that white piece comes from on these two cards. Then just one last little card here with the camper and trailer mounted on foam adhesive with the you make me a happy camper stapled on there. And then here we've got the um, Camper, once again, you can tell it's my favorite image, using an element or component of that craft print as an anchoring border strip. Finally, the last card is this road trip uh, image. I've outlined it with that metallic uh, marker that we included in the light collection. And then down at the bottom, you see I've got this little ribbon bow, really nice flat little bow. Um, I did some research on how to make them, and I found a very efficient way to do that, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. So basically what you need are scissors, you need your project, a sheet of glue dots comes in really handy, and uh, your ribbon. So what you're going to do first is trim the ribbon to be a little bit wider than the area where you'll be wrapping. So that's ribbon number one. Then I'm going to trim another ribbon. That's the width of my project here. And you'll have to use discretion if you're working on a huge project. You don't want it to be like that. Then you need a third ribbon. That's about twice the width of the ribbon itself. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Just basically you need a small piece of ribbon. <laughs> okay, first step, I'm just going to take the backing off of these glue dots. And then I'm going to take the medium-sized ribbon. And I'm going to press directly with the ribbon onto one of the glue dots. Just like that to pick it up. So I have a glue dot underneath the edge of that ribbon. I'm going to make a little loop just by connecting those two ends together. All right, I have a little loop with my medium size piece. Then I'm going to take, if you're working with a, a satin on one side, you want to make sure you have the right side facing up, and then grab another glue dot on the end of that. I'm going to place it on the wrong side of my longest ribbon, right in the middle. So here's my long ribbon and the, on the wrong side up, and then my little short piece is right side up. Lastly, I'm going to take this loop and my ribbon with the satin side facing up and pair that together. I don't even need to adhere it if I don't want to. Then I'm going to bring that around forward. Now to see where my thumb is, I'm going to put a glue dot right <laughs> underneath the center of the bow and wrap this piece around. Okay, now you see this little guy hanging out? Not a problem. I'll take my little scissors and snip them off. All right, then finally, go back to your project, position the bow where you want it, 
and then secure the ends around to the back and then place that component onto the card base. Finish with your greeting. Ta-da! There's your three-step ribbon. Hope you like this little technique, you know, give it a try. See you next time.